The defending champion on Candlepin Bowling is Dave Romani of Feeding Hills, Massachusetts. And the challenger today is Tom Surrett of Woburn. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Candlepin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I guess you all know by now that this program is on videotape, and we do our taping sometimes several weeks before you see the program right here at Sammy White's Brighton Bowl. It's always three strings of Candlepin Bowling. It's always total pinfall, which determines our winner. Now, the winner is rewarded with a handsome marble-based trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up receives a smaller but otherwise identical version of that trophy to indicate he was a participant on our show. And in the foreground, you see the silver tray, which will go to our Yellow Pages Marksman of the Day, the man who has the most marks today. We also have guaranteed prize money of $1,000. 700 of that goes to the winner. $300 goes to the runner-up. And the other opportunities for our bowlers to go home a little bit richer, we have a 1710 high-low jackpot. That is uh, worth $250. And if neither hits it, we'll add $25. And somebody eventually is going to walk away with whatever has accumulated. If a bowler has a 400 series, there's an extra bonus of $100. For three marks in a row in the same string, any combination of strikes or spares, that's $50 in bonus money. And after those three have been established, any subsequent mark in consecutive order would be worth $50 apiece. And for three strikes in a row, as happened last week, an additional bonus of $1,000. We'll be back with the first string of today's match right after this. All right, we are getting underway, and leading it off is Tom Surrett of Woburn, today's challenger. Good first ball. This is Tom's first appearance on our show. He has an average of 122. Tell you a little more about him. He's married. He works uh, as an inventory controller for HP Hood and Company. His high single is 190 and his high triple 464. And he had a 710 in winning his roll off. Here's our defending champion, David Romani. He has a league average of 125. And he has a single, but doesn't have any wood in the way. Yes, first mark goes up on the board. David's high single is 210, his high triple 510. He had a 693 when he won his roll off. David is single, works as a clerk, town and country liquors. He's representing the Westfield Bowling Center. Tom Serrett is representing the Candlewood Lanes. Oh, good try. Challenger Tom Surrett. Two and six, almost side by side, not quite. Hit. 
Diamond. Plus the seven. Only five more programs, including this one, to unseat our two contenders right now for the Yellow Pages Championship, which will be live on September 11th. First prize of $10,000, runner-up $5,000, and Ralph Stewart gets a hand, as he always does when he goes down, does some work down towards the other end of the lanes. Now, David Romani. Barely. He can't believe that he missed that. I mean, uh, if he had gotten one of the pins, maybe he could have understood it, but to have missed it completely. that just one pin the two pin an eight box score at the end of four here in the first string our challenger, Tom Surrett of Woburn, 38. Dave Romani, our defending champion from Feeding Hills, 43. Challenger, Tom Surrett, now to roll in the fifth frame of the first string. his first mark. In fact, we've had only one mark, and that was the opening first frame spare by Dave Romani. Good spare leave now. Piece of wood. just missed three pins out of six boxes so far, so he's pinning very well. That is Tom Surratt, now Dave Romani. Dave has not been pinning as well. He's had a pair of eight boxes, but he also has a spare with an eight on it. There! He picks up the second mark. like that. Got just four. And a miss completely. Challenger Tom Surrett coming up. 
Al Gilio is keeping score on that big scoreboard, and Frank Galassi keeping score beside me today. Tom Surratt has himself his first mark, and it is a strike. Backdoor strike, but a strike nevertheless. Here's his first ball. Oh, that close to a double strike. First pair? Yes. Okay. Now Dave Romani coming up. The hand is for Ralph Stewart, our log line judge and referee. Pin still standing. Let's see, we're going to get. Okay, we had a little peek there of Ralph Stewart. That's uh, sometimes referred to as a subliminal shot. Dave Romani. Almost a strike. Bill Rubin, as always, is our director and producer. Yes. Now, two marks in a row are up on the board for Tom Surrett. Look at that tough split. Lob costume two. Ralph sits, as you know, Ralph Stewart right on that lob line. And the first contact that that ball made was beyond there. So as a result of that, he lost those two pins. He winds up with a seven instead of nine. average bowler before I forget it Joanne Panto is our statistician and secretary I don't want to neglect her when I'm mentioning some of our regulars who are here David Romani picks up six winds up with a clipped wing spread eagle He would like to have seen that wood stay there. Two, four, seven, and he didn't get the two, which he had to if he was going to have any chance at all. Right now, this looks like a nine. That's what it is. One pin separating our bowlers, and the lead belongs to today's challenger, Tom Surrett of Woburn. 
at the end of one. Tom Surratt, 109. Dave Romani, 108. Middle string, defending champion Dave Romani leads it off. You can probably hear some of the noise in the background. Some of Dave's family here. And that is a Candlepin bowling family, as you well know. Dad Paul, excellent bowler. Sister Mary, excellent bowler, are here. He has two strikes in a row. And last week, he had two strikes in a row, did not get three in a row. Then Ronnie McPhail got two in a row and did get three in a row and got an extra bonus of $1,000. Here's Tom Surrett, today's challenger from Woburn. A 10 for Tom Surrett. Making his first appearance on our show. Dave Romani has been on several times. Almost! One pin to pick up for his spare. second. All right, stand by. Here he is, Dave Romani coming up, and that tells the story right there on the board. No, not quite. He did not get the thousand dollars extra for three strikes in a row. the spare. Settle down. No. Eight. Fifty dollars in bonus money was all he was able to pick up out of that. Tom Surrett, he picks up eight. Now the wood is in such a position that he will be forced to use it anyway. And see if he can get both of those pins. He did. Played it well. Time call, Ralph Stewart going down to get a loose and spinning ball out of the left gutter on lane 37. for a commercial after four here in the middle string and I will remind you that right now in this middle string challenger Tom Surrett the Woburn has 57 with a bonus ball to roll Dave Romani is at 73 Dave Romani on the line now fifth frame middle string Nope. All right, three more, three more. 
nine. Here it is the seventh of August, and uh, with September right around the corner, I'd like to remind you that Sammy White has three senior citizen leagues that are going to be starting in September. On Wednesday morning, there'll be a money league. On Thursday afternoon, a trophy league. And on Friday morning, a trophy league. And if you'd like more information, you call Sammy White's right here. I'll give you the number right after this. Good try by David. The number here at Sammy White's is 2540710. Now, Tom Surrett, today's challenger from Woburn, with three in a row up on the board here in the second string. $50 in bonus money. Looking for more. Six. Okay, bonus streak stops. Right. Well, he had three marks, then an open. Came right back again with a strike. Dave Romani. Dave leading the match at the moment. Boy, that one really got away from him. He can hardly believe it that it was that far off. Just dropped it too soon. Same thing again, only not as bad. All right, got a nine. This is the 14th appearance overall for Dave Romani. And despite his youth, he made his first appearance on our program eight years ago. Nine. It was a winning one. He beat Barry Lang. That may be costly. We'll see whether it hurts or not as Tom Surrett comes up working on a strike. Big nine drop. He's looked that over pretty carefully. He misses one. All right, so they they even out. David missed a single pin for a spare. Tom did. Boy, is this one close. One pin. One pin separating our bowlers. Rocking back and forth, but not going down. However, that looks like a good spare leave. Three, six, and ten with Wood. Boy, he's having some problems with that football line so far as the ball's skipping. He's putting it down right on that little strip that goes across there, the little black strip where the lights are.
David wants to wait till the wood settles down. And then will he use it or go right at it? I would assume he'd go right at it. He did go at it, but didn't get it. One twenty one. And with those three marks that he had at the beginning, two of them strikes, he was up to 65 after three. Hasn't had a mark since. Has a chance. off just a little bit. Nine. 130. It's a good string, but it should have been a lot better, considering that he had 65 after three and got 65 in the next seven. Seven for Tom Surrett. That's the fill and the chance for another. Could him have himself a real good string here. Oh, but he had to get that spare in order to have the real good one. Ten. That gives him the lead in the match. Neither of them bowled high scores in the first. But Tom Surrett had one pin more than Dave. Is it going to be a strike? No. He's at 126. Plus these nine coming right up against it. Yes, yeah, it's a strike. One thirty-six and two bonus balls to roll. Here we go. First ball, half Worcester left. 138. Right! He doesn't believe it. Two, 138. Amazing. Don't see that too often. All right, Al Giglio is taking care of putting things up on the scoreboard. And as we tilt up, we'll remind you that at the end of two, challenger Tom Surratt of Woburn leads our match over Dave Romani of Feeding Hills, our defending champion, 247 to 238. Challenger Tom Surratt now leading off in the third string. He leads the match, 247 to 238. the football line and flew down there but it was in the right place as you can see to make the spare and a difficult spare it was seven with wood one seven ten with wood Ralph Stewart has to get that loose ball. And Ralph has to go back again. Now Dave Romani, who finds himself trailing in the match by nine pins, and opposite a spare seven in the first frame. We got a break as that seven pin went down. Now he does have a spare lead on the right side. Right. 
today. It's not the day of Rome. After today, just four more programs before our Yellow Pages Championship on September 11th. Look at this, he has the five, seven, and 10. Just about an impossible spear. Ron Brewer and Ed Arsenal are still scheduled to go at it on September 11th in a live program for a first prize of $10,000, runner-up prize $5,000, the seventh annual Yellow Pages Championship. Today's challenger, Tom Surrett, on the program for the first time and doing very well. Has won both strings leads in the match. That shows you what can happen if you hit the right spot on the wood. It was a 10. That five is rocking. He got it. Now oh, Dave Romani is just cannot afford to miss any more because Tom Surrett is beginning to pull away. Seven box. David perspiring heavily and possibly tiring. Now he has a spare leave of a little triangle. Six, nine, and ten for a spare. No, he's just not, not sharp, not getting him. Nine. <laughs> and here comes challenger Tom Surrett, who, uh, as I said, has been pulling away. Two is the fill. Twice he's had that same half Worcester left. High single, 190, high triple, 464. League average, 122, making his first appearance on our show. Good young bowler, you can tell. But one must earn the, the opportunity to compete on this show. We don't invite people. We invite them, obviously, to enter the roll-offs. You're all welcome to do that. 
but no one gets the automatic. good day at all. Uh, not a typical Dave Romani day. He had a 130 middle string, but really that came as a result of two successive strikes and a spare at the start of that second string. In the first string, he had just two spares with an eight and a six. Still struggling, looking for a mark here in the third string. He's trying to decide whether to try to use the wood or not. Good thing he did. That's his first mark here in the third string. Four boxes to go. Now, Tom Surrett. Successive nines. That's when he had what would appear to be a golden opportunity to put the uh, match away. Um, no, sir. So that leaves the door open for Dave Romani, who has a spear up on the board in the sixth, and he'll be coming up shortly to roll in the seventh and eighth. Piece of wood, as you can see, has to wait for that to stop rolling. And it was a roadblock, and he has his fourth successive nine. Nine pin behind as he started this third string. Bonus, thin hit. Just four. down to three frames. Three boxes left. Nineteen pins, that's what he's behind by. to just two boxes and it doesn't look good. He's trailing right now by 19 pins. <laughs> uh, 
and he's just got to hope that Tom Surrett does not mark in these two. Oh, great effort. Five consecutive nines. Okay, this should do it. There is his spare. <clears throat> Can't tell you who the challenger will be next week, simply because I don't know. It's somebody from the South Shore area, and that roll-off hasn't been held as we are taping this show. Here's the bonus from Tom Surrett. Big hit. That would do it. So Tom Surrett has done what Dave Romani did, the very first appearance on our show. He was a winner. After it. He went right after that head pin looking for the strike. Good shot. David congratulates the new champion, Tom Surrett. We'll be back with a high-low jackpot of $250 and a home viewer jackpot of $300 right after I tell you that the final score of today's match was new champion Tom Surrett of Woburn, 358, and runner-up today, Dave Romani, 336. Just look at all the cards we have in here, and uh, I have just enough time today to remind you, because it isn't during the show, anybody who's looking in for the first time and wondering what this is all about, these cards are guesses as to what the total pinfall was going to be, both three-string totals combined. And uh, if you would like to uh, get a card in here for one of the subsequent ones, all you have to do is send it along to the same address you used to send the home viewer thing the uh, home viewer problem, which would be Candlepin Bowling, WCVB-TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. Now, we are assured that when I pull out a card, that person is going to win something. In fact, we'll win these prizes. A Regina electric broom. Don't vacuum. From now on, electric broom with the most advanced electric broom of all. The two-motor electric broom power team makes cleaning a breeze and a handy travel alarm clock in a tan leatherette case. All right, we have a three-string total today of 694. That means if uh, the card I draw is anywhere between 684 and 704, we will have a winner of $300. All right, let me uh, go in here. Pe people get mad if I don't knock these things down. All right, let's go over in the corner here. Am I gonna have a winner today? No? No? We're going to go to 350? All right, let's see. The, this one is from uh, Eugene Pariseau of Main Street in Marlboro, Massachusetts, who wins those prizes, but his guess is 737. So we add another $50, and next week our jackpot will be worth $350. Our high-low jackpot is worth $250, and Tommy, you pick a lane and fire away because you have first choice.
okay, David, it starts all over again at 50. 275. I guess it was. Hey, we almost had another. David, come on over here. Tommy. Well, you come here first because uh, you... Tommy, you just stand on the other side there. I'll get to you in a moment. I want to be this camera over here to get a chance to look at David. David, I had the impression that, uh, I, I'm not sure, but I had the feeling that you were a little bit uh, warm and tired in that uh, yeah, third string. Sweaty. You think that's probably what it was? Definitely. Just, you, you, it, wasn't, it wasn't the David Romani I'm used no. to. Dead ball. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, you know it's only four more weeks before uh, we have our Yellow Pages championship, and then uh, you're eligible to come right back again, so all you have to do is get in one of those roll-offs and do it, okay? Okay, I'll $300 for you, of course. We had, uh, how much, $50 in bonus money was it for you today? Yes, yeah, for those three marks in a row, you almost had two strikes in a row. And this is a certificate for a Fisher Space Pen, which you can do when you're making up those orders in the liquor store or whatever okay. it is, all right? Okay. You take care of yourself and go back and see us cool. again soon, all right? Okay, young fella. First time on. His first time on. He was a winner, and not too many guys do that. Thank you. Felt kind of nice, huh? Oh, yeah. I was lucky. There it is from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. That's your big one. You were also our Yellow Pages Marksman of the Day, so you take home that. You had, let's see, 275. I said 250. It was 275 uh, in that. You had $50 in bonus money, and the big, of course, 700 all right, I can't tell you who your opponent is going to be next week, Tommy, because I don't know yet. They haven't had the roll-off yet. But you'll be ready to come back and defend your title, won't you? Okay, yeah, I won't try to shake your hand because you're occupied right now. But have fun and enjoy it, all Thank right? You. And we'll see you next week at the same time. God bless for the whole crew. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>